Hi everyone, welcome back, it's Deborah, And I'm not doing any more of this today, but I wanted to show you that I've actually finished one. That is the front cover of one of them. And then I've also done inside as well. And it came to bit together pretty quickly once I started doing it because I'd already done a lot of the embellishments. And then afterwards I went through and I just, you know, popped things on like sayings and other things. So that is one of them. And then, sorry, knocking my camera there. And then I started the second one for the other sister. So this is, I've got to do another row here and the front, but that's the beginning of hers. So hopefully I'll get that finished over Easter and then I can give those to them. Now, a couple of shout outs, first of all. Peggy, Peggy, I'm assuming that's your name, in Wisconsin. She told me that she lives in Wisconsin and that she's a Wisconsin, Wisconsinian. And also she said that she was surprised that I knew all the states in, or that I know states in America. Well, I actually know every state and every state capital in America. And I also know every country and every capital of the 196 countries in the world. Why? Because I'm a nerd and I wanted to teach myself something. So I started learning things like that and the periodic table and, you know, who won the best Oscar actor and actress and picture for, you know, every year that it's been held and all those other weird things that only people like me think are interesting. So that is why I know the states and capitals of the USA. So the other thing is that I've had a couple of lovely things. One from, um, there's a town called Emerald, which is in far north Queensland. Shout out to Emerald. And I, I didn't write the names down because I didn't want to single anybody out except Peggy. I've done that now. Can't take that back. And that was, um, she said that they are Emeraldites up in far north Queensland. So hi to Emerald. Then I had a couple of other ones. A lady from Hartwell in Georgia who said that they are Hartwellians. I don't know Hartwell. I'll have to go and look it up and see. Of course, I know where Georgia is, but I don't know where Hartwell. I'm assuming she meant Georgia in the USA, which I'm pretty sure was right, not Georgia the country. Then I had one from Finland, and there is a place called Kotka in Finland, and they are Kotka, I can't even say it, Kotkalainen, Kotkalainen. Hopefully I'm saying that right. <laughs> so amazing that I get people watching me from Finland. That's wonderful. And then also from the Netherlands, another interesting place. And they are from Friesland and they're called Fries. I think that's how you pronounce it. And she also mentioned that in Amsterdam, they're called Amsterdamers. And in The Hague, they're called Hageners. So it's all an interesting world, isn't it? Then the other thing I got was a question from Susan about Tim Holtz Botanicals. She looked at one of my old videos from a couple of years back and she asked me about the things. I was going through a packet of Tim Holtz Botanicals, which I think was, you know, pretty similar to this one. And she said that she couldn't find any video on how to actually use these. So I thought what I would do is pull them out and actually make a couple of things with them. So that's what I'm doing today. Thank you, Susan. Now, the other thing I grabbed out was these playing cards. All I've done to these, and these were in my work in progress plastic tub, all I've done to these is put some tissue paper down on them. So just some pattern tissue paper. And again, long time ago that I did that. And I've pulled out another tub, just a plastic thing, just in case I need that as well. So what can you do with these? Well, I guess the obvious thing is that you can make a tuck spot in your journal. So on the page of your journal, you could put it down and then you could tuck things in it like that. And that would be, you know, pretty obvious. You could just put it in as a decoration on top of a pocket. That would be something else you can do with them. But you can see I've got quite a few. I didn't realize I had that many. And then I've also got some actual flowers and things as well. And I thought that maybe I could make some little embellishments on top of the playing card. So rather than just having the, you know, this as the tuck spot or the pocket, I can make this as the tuck spot. So I think that I quite like the playing cards. I think that they're quite nice. 
And I do have a few other things. Now I don't know if these are all from the same pack. And this video I did was when I was opening a pack of these and it was a long time ago, a couple of years back now. Anyway, so I thought maybe I could put some of these down and just show you how I would use these in a particular way. So that would be, you know, something like that. If you didn't like the queen and whatever, the playing cards that are showing, then you can just paint them with some paint or go over them with some white gesso. That will dull them down a little bit if you don't like that. But if you like that, and I don't mind that, it shows what the product was before I repurposed it into a pocket or a tuck spot, then just leave it how it is. So you could put that one down there, which I'll do now. Just get some glue. And let's put some glue down on here. And because that flower is quite big, I don't need to really use anything else in that first layer. But I'll be putting some other layers on there. This one here is quite pretty with all the pink background that I've got on it. And the beauty of these, of course, is you can just turn them around. So I've got a bit of an empty patch here. And I'll put some pink roses on there because that will go well with the pink that's already on the card. So there's plenty of larger pieces in this pack. There's smaller ones too. So now I've got one of the plain playing cards that happened to be just in the pile. I'm not sure why, but anyway, I've cut it in half lengthways because I think sometimes that surface is a bit limiting. So if you're finding things like that, just try cutting them in half or cutting a piece off them because it might help you to do something more with them. Because these ones, I've got quite a few of these because I kind of struggle to use these. You can see here I've got, like, I do put them on things occasionally, but they're not sort of my go-to item, which is why I've got quite a few sort of hanging around. By cutting the card in half, I've lessened it, so I'll show you. If I use that on there, it's not quite coming to the edges. See, I'm just it's not quite the same size, just the same size. By cutting this in half, it's created more of a spark of imagination in me, but just by doing that little tiny thing. And it's amazing how that happens. So if I use the little photo of the old car as well, and then I can use another one. And this one is different, so I will put it down here. Okay, so I'm going to try and stick those down and see what we get. I think that's the best way, so I'll have a go. And I'm sure it'll work out. I'm confident that it's going to work. So it's just a matter of trying things, really. If you don't try something, you'll never know. And so what I made sure is when I put this on, I'm making sure that the little people are kind of on the card. And then, because I was trying to put the same scale on as this up here, and it just didn't look any good. So, sorry, the garbage man's making a noise, but I'll just keep going. So this one is a larger scale one. So normally you would get this in a small scale and then a large scale. So what I've done, here's the small scale of that one actually to show you. So there's two different sizes. Is I've chosen to up, you know, the upscale size. And the reason is that it just looks better than putting, trying to put the little one on. It just didn't look right to me. And now I'm going to trim it down. So although I'm using the card as the base, I'm not going to trim to the edges as I would normally. I am going to trim probably on this side to the edge. So I'm just putting it in my cutter and lining it up somewhere around that edge and trimming it through like that. And then this other side, I'm going to line it up, but I'm going to trim. I'm not sure if you can see that. Hold it up to the camera. I'm going to trim here. I'll just grab a pencil so I can show you. I'm going to trim it down here. So I'm going to make sure that's probably my point that's closest. So that's where I'm going to trim it. I'm going to try and make it parallel with that one that I did on this side as well. I don't know if it needs to be. It probably does. So I'm going to have to cut it down. So my first port would be put the straight edge I've just cut in the trimmer and then make sure that this one here Hold that up for you just so show you what I'm doing. 
make sure that this point here, which is your furthest point in, you can actually cut to the edge of that, right? Otherwise you'll have a wonky edge. So now you've got a straight side here and a straight side at the bottom. Now to cut this one straight, you need to take that straight edge that you've just cut, put it in your trimmer and again, find that point where, which is the one that's closest to the side of the trimmer. Let me pull it up for you so you can see that point there because under there, there's no paper. You can see where I've got that. Okay, so I'll put it in the trimmer, nice and straight, pull it through, and then finally do exactly the same on the other end. And there you go. You've got a little thing which could be a tuck spot or that could go on top of something else. And because I've used the upscale size of that, Otherwise, that looks better. Otherwise, I'd have, you know, all of that in there if I used a smaller piece of that. So there's that piece there, and I've used the playing card as a base to connect them. Again, you don't have to. It just happened to be what I had here. And then, with these pieces, this one, I'll just keep that for a moment, but this one, you can actually use this in another piece. So I'll show you that. It's coming apart a bit at the back, but never mind. So where is another card here? I was playing with the joker, wasn't I? So with this one, I'm going to use maybe the floral, but you can put other things around it as well, like this. This is a little piece that we had before. So I can pop it in here. See how it overlaps? And you can still see a little bit of that, that um, stuff that's there, particularly if I put it up here like that and then I'll find some other bits so let's just start by putting some glue down the center of this flower because I want to be able to tuck things in on either side of it that's why I'm not fully covering it with the glue and I will pop this down push that out of the way pop this down here and then a bit more glue on this one here on that edge that's um didn't put glue all the way just on the edge that I'm going to push under here so I think I'll leave that sticking out on the side of the card and then again a little bit on here exactly the same and push this in here hold it all steady and now I will also get a little mushroom here I might put that down too the mushroom down put that here on top of the flower so I guess what I'm saying with all this is just because you've got a card that looks like that doesn't mean that you have to use it all in your piece you can cut it so I'm going to chop this off here put some glue down on the back and I'm going to poke it in there as well on the other side So then I can use this piece and I may well use this piece up here actually. Put that piece in there. Why not? So that's the beauty is that I think that a lot of times you get something and you think oh, that's how I have to use it. I can't, I can't do anything else with it. But that's actually not true. And here's another one. This flower is way too big, but if I put this up here, it might look quite good, I think. Let me just give it a test run. Yep, so I've chopped it in half, just chopped the bottom half of it off, and now I'm gonna put it up and poke it in here. So I've got a nice little floral thing, and I probably need another flowery type thing in there as well. Here's another piece. I could use some of this. See how that's going. Possibly I could use that. Let me see. Mm, yeah, that looks all right. I will use that. I was just wondering if I was going to cut a little bit off the side of that. And I may well do that yet. Again, I'm just going to put it under the flower here and stick it on.
So that's something that's a bit different that you've got this thing that you know you can then now go and trim. So I am going to trim it because for me this one here is a bit too straight. So I'm just going to trim around this flower using that as my guide just to get that edge off it. And then I'm also going to cut that back to the edge of the card like that and leave this sticking up like that. And then I was going to put a quote on as well. So I've got this box of quote chips here. I could put that down there. That's probably a little bit big though, I think. Just a tiny bit. I need something small. I don't know what object through means. I know ob object is or objet is uh, object, but I don't know what the trove means, so I have to look that up. <laughs> I can't put that down. What about be brave? Oh, here you go. Perfect. Field notes. Perfect. Yep. Now, if you want to, you don't have to leave these the same colour. You can ink them. You can also cover them with the tissue paper and reveal them from there. You can put white gesso on them. Again, you can cut them as well. Don't be afraid to cut these down. Like if you have this thing and it's too big, you could cut that into three words and use it like that. I always forget to do that, so I must. <laughs> that's a message to myself as much as you guys. <laughs> I think this one is field notes down there. And now I might just put one more thing on, I think. I think I'd like one more coming off there. So with this one, I'm going to cut around the flower here like that. And actually I'm going to put the smaller one in. I'm going to put that up there so you can still see some of the card that's below there but you've got another sort of thing sticking up. Just needed it, I think. I just couldn't quite find the balance with that one. I needed something that's going to stick up a bit more. So I guess it's sort of like creating a flower arrangement really, which I'm not very good at, but <laughs> hopefully you'll get the message and you'll be able to do your own a lot better. So we've got that down there. The only thing I want to do is make sure that edge I cut is under something. So if you can see that edge it doesn't look good. You want the illusion that that's a whole piece going down here. That's what you're trying to trick the brain into thinking. And then this one, I wonder if I can put this one on this side. There you go. I'll put that one on that side. Yeah, I will. That looks fine there. And then, in terms of what you would do with this, you could use this, as I said before, as a tuck spot in a junk journal. So you could tuck something in. So you would just stick it down on two sides and have your tuck spot coming in here like that. You could use it on the front of a pocket as an embellishment. There'd be, you know, that would be an option that you could use it with. I think that looks quite good though. Quite like that. Just tossing up if I want to cut this off here. Mm, might do that. Okay. There you go. Just chop that off there. And I don't know whether I need another flower on here now. Let's see if I've got another flower. I've got this other purple one. Might take the stem off that because it's failing anyway because it's quite bendy. And I think I'm going to have to take that leaf off as well. The bottom leaf's fine, but this leaf here needs to be cut. We just follow the general flow of it and chop it off. And that way I can tuck that under here like that.
and again I'm making sure that that edge that I chopped off is hidden away and then I've got the leaf curling around there and then with this leaf just so we don't waste it I'm going to stick it in somewhere as well let's see where can it be stuck I think I can put this one down here look at that fits perfectly Now you're probably thinking, well, why am I bothering to use the playing cards that I've decorated? Well, I did a whole pack of these ages ago and I've used a lot of them in other ways and you can see the, the decoration or the, you know, the tissue paper that I put on them. And so I don't mind that I've covered that up. I'm just sitting here creating and this is where my, you know, where my creativity took me was just to keep adding things in like that. But I think that's really nice. I quite like that one. So that's one. But if you do want to have them showing, you can. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Wildflowers of America. Again, that's quite thin card, so you may want to mount it on a surface like this just to enhance it a little bit. And this is that one that I did before so I wanted to add a couple of more things to these as well that is sometimes I know that's up the right way sometimes I'm not quite sure which way is up on some of these things but these ones I struggle with because they've got the corner cut off and you know if you watch me you know that I'm not great with things like that I'm like oh that doesn't look finished I've got to do something about that so maybe having that in my hand, I will now just grab another card. Here's one here. And I might just put this on here. And turn it up the other way again because there's more tissue tape, tissue paper on the top. And then I can maybe cover it. See what else I've got that's um that's up in a vertical thing. Let's see. This one's just, I wanted three really. I want to try and get three sort of long ones in there. Okay, so again, what I'm doing is I'm going to take these florals and it's just a little card and it's roughly about one and a half inches wide. So I'm going to cut it in half, yeah, sort of in half. And I want to make sure it's up the right way as well because I think I've got it up the wrong way at the moment. Let me see. I have. This is the right hand side. I can tell because it says flowers up there in the tiniest little writing. And I'm going to put this on here and then I'm going to put this one on here like this to create a little pocket. Just seeing how that goes. And then I can put a little something in there like the little bird. Okay, so my first step is to create the pocket piece. And that means just running some glue down this side, putting the little flower piece on here, and then some glue down on the side, on the backs of the other side down here, and putting some this down here. So we've got one behind and one above and it hides that crooked corner that I don't like there and then this can all go down on top of here okay, so I just want to make sure that that looks okay so I'll put some glue down here and along the bottom I'm only going to do glue on the two sides here down and on the bottom Now I'm going to cut this. So I'm going to start by cutting it across here. And then I think that will be all right then. And then this can go in there so it becomes a little, it's like a side tuck or a pocket, depends on what you want to call it. So that can then become an embellishment and you can use that as your journaling spot in your actual journal. So that's used up a couple, you know, a couple more of those pieces and again showing you how 
if you don't like something you can either cover it or cut it but that's another little one there in fact I might put a little saying on this one while I'm at it as well these, some of these are quite large actually they're a bit large for the the uh, card that one's mm, that one's a tiny bit too large I can't use that one I want something along the bottom there I thought I, otherwise I would cut that but I want something because I, that looks quite jagged so if you just put it over like that you're hiding that so when I'm gluing this piece on I'm only going to glue the top piece on not the bottom so I want to keep that hanging over the edge like that it'll look more pleasing that way to me there you go so with this one I've cut this piece in half enjoy the journey because in the length it just wasn't working for me I just need some glue I'm going to start at the bottom and put the word journey on first and I'm actually going to go a bit crooked with this on purpose just because I'm trying to embrace crooked okay there you go enjoy the journey and that's quite sweet so again I've already punched a hole in this you could use this as a tag I could put some manila cardstock on the back now if all those flowers are a bit much for you then combine them with other things so I've got this one, this one, I've got a couple things out from that other box that I had here because it won't hurt especially when you're using all of the one brand in this instance Tim Holtz it won't hurt and the other thing is remember that you can turn your card on the side you don't have to use it in the portrait mode you can use it in the landscape mode I like this mushroom one seeing what else I can put on here now that I've got that bit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop it and just cut it into a strip and then I can pop it on here like this and then I will put something else on there probably not the word because I'm going vertically and I'm going to change my mind I'm going to put the flowers up this end because this is the edge I cut so I want the raw edge covered that's the plan I'm going to put the mushrooms here then I'm going to put this down up the other way because that's the raw edge and then this one here that's better turn the mushrooms up the right way and then what I've got now is another little pocket thing that I can use so I will put a word across the bottom here or a saying or a saying like this one or maybe something see if I can find something that's a bit more appropriate than that um, follow your heart see the world that's probably better yep much better so there you go that's what you can do with these sorts of things if you're struggling and I'm sure there's heaps of other things and you've probably done a lot of them but I thought that I'd just have a go at that this morning and it's helped me use some of those things that I actually do struggle to use I don't know why it's just I don't know they might be a bit too pre-done for me or something I'm really not sure why that happens but that is my idea for using these little Tim Holtz botanical things and I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you tomorrow. This is Deborah. Cheers.